Oh, there you are. You want half of this Pokimane gaming session? Whoa! Is that a Pokimane gaming session with Pokimane? Yes, it is. Ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, how did you manage this? I bought it with money. Nice. Hey guys, here's the big Lebrowski coming in again with another video for you to shade your damn head in disbelief because you can't conceive that people this dumb actually exist. Because yes, believe it or not, there are people that would willingly go broke just to get 5 seconds of attention from their favorite streamer. So today we're talking once again about Pokemon, everyone's favorite streamer, said no one ever. Ah! So she's yet again involved in some drama, only that this time it's not her the one that did some stupid shit that got her in trouble. This time her cringe fans are the ones that stole the spotlight by being the simps that they are. But first we have to give some context, because like everything in life, things are not that simple. So there's this guy that goes by the name of Sea Dog, and he's a renowned streamer that since a couple of years has been the host of a charity auction where people can find unusual items, they make a bid and then that money gets done to some institution that needs it. Well, the point is that this year, one of the rare items that are listed on Sea Dog's charity is a gaming session with none other than Pokemon herself. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! The listing on the side reads, Enjoy a gaming session with Pokimane, one of the top streamers in the industry. Play your favorite games and share an unforgettable experience. It's finally happening! Yeah, damn right, that would be an unforgettable experience, especially if you've been simping for her so long that you would go out of your way and pay money to play games with her. Even though it's already cringe that this so-called gaming session with Pokimane is on that list, that's not even the worst part, because, and hold on to your damn chair, someone donated $500,000 dollars to play with Pokemon. My boy, yo, you good? Yo, 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 no, 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 bro. Yes, you heard that right. Some dude actually paid the equivalent amount a house is worth just to play some games with a streamer. So the donations actually started quite normal. The top bid was for $2,500, which if you ask me, it's still a shit lot of money to pay just to play with that idiot. But anyway, to each their own, I say. Anyway, but then Sea Dog started to freak out when he saw that someone donated over $400,000 and then even $500,000. Even Pokemon herself self freaked out about it and posted a story on her Instagram. Everyone was really excited and they just couldn't believe that this was real. And well, it turns out it wasn't, <laughs> because apparently it was all fake. So after doing some digging, Sea Dog realized that the beats were obviously not real and that kinda restores some of my faith in humanity, because for f**k's sake, paying that amount of money for something so stupid, I just wanted to rip my eyes out and eat them when I read that article. So it turned out that these people were using stolen credit cars to make fake bits and so basically they were just trolling everyone quite a move if you ask me especially when charity is involved anyway like i said sea dog was quite pissed that people would be such dicks and i mean what a surprise right people on the internet being apples so he went on live on stream and then he went really off on these people if you haven't seen there is crazy bids going on now now i won't lie um even though that five hundred thousand is fake the the real bidding number from what i can gather is still uh very high so i'm still not sad because i think it's still a crazy amount of money that's real um but i need to double check like at least at least like 30 i think is real so that's still a crazy amount of money because i obviously have been dealing with this uh, for a little while is how are they doing this so to actually to enter it well first of all first of all actually before we before we say how are they doing it can we just can we just mention this cringe it's super cringe to fake money for charity I mean, yeah, it is cringe to fake donations for charity, but you know what is more cringe? Actually paying money to play with Pokemon. <laughs> because I bet my two balls that all of the sims that are beating on that auction don't give a single f about charity. They just want to keep living on their fantasy world where they think that somehow they still have a chance to get in Pokemon's pants. <laughs> that is cringe. Uh, I, you know what? I, I think that... Uh... There is nothing sadder you can fake in life than donating money to charity. Uh, and even if they're probably like, haha, funny, me and my 15 year old friends are going to love this. I just think it's so sad that this is what they feel like they, they, <laughs> they should do. The reason why they're kind of being slowly removed uh, is that it takes a little while on Tiltify Zen to fully remove them and ban them. 
Uh, but part of what they're doing is using stolen credit cards. Because <laughs> you have to put a credit card in. So they're either fake or stolen credit cards. Um, and they're also using like different fake emails, fake addresses, all this kind of stuff. Um, because it actually requires you to put your uh, credit card in for verification. So they have to put a real credit card in. So it's kind of lame. By kind of lame, I mean like very fucking lame. Imagine being so stupid that in the case that they're actually using stolen credit cards, they made payments that can be traced easily if someone were to investigate this. Because not only it's stealing, it's also impersonating and fraud. But then again, people being people, not really surprising. Um, and apparently uh, they're adding more measures so that it should be fixed by the auction day. So at least on auction day, uh, hopefully we should be getting just real bids. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do. It is a crazy amount of effort to do something that has no impact, right? Like, a lot of this stuff is just whatever. Um, like, it's going to be removed. Like, why would you do, commit fraud to add a fake bid to a charity auction? So yeah, I gotta admit that I agree with this guy. Like, how much of a sad little sh** you have to be to fake donations that are for a good cause? I mean, I am on board on trolling Pokemon, sure, but this ain't it, brother. Anyway, even though the 500k donation was fake, there is still someone cringe enough that donated 30k to have a chance to talk to his goddess Pokemon, and this one seems to be legit. So yeah, even though it is extra cringe to pay that much money to spend time with Pokemon of all people, at least it is for a good cause, I guess. And also, let's take a moment to remember in sense about to whom are these people giving their money away because if you forgot already not so long ago this woman tried to sell her fans some overpriced cookies and she got a lot of backlash for it with a lot of content creators criticizing her for this pokimane started a snack company called mina and immediately it fell into controversy because the price point is very high for some cookies $28 for four packs of cookies which comes out to about seven dollars per bag and some other famous streamers the likes of this bold guy and xqc tried the cookies and well basically they said that they were definitely not worth the price tag Tastes like um, a, a Oreo top cookie, but worse. The taste kicks in and it's not terrible. <laughs> not terrible is crazy <laughs> and of course i can't help to mention the one time she said that her fans were broke for not wanting to pay 28 dollars for some lousy cookies when people are like oh my god 28 dollars for cookies it's four bags that's seven seven dollars a bag i know i know math is hard when you're an idiot but uh, like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay, yeah. Anyway. yeah, imagine willingly parting with 30k just to be able to spend a couple of minutes with this woman. Ay, 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 what is wrong with people, man? So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video and you know how this goes. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like and a comment. Share your thoughts on this lame ass situation. Would you pay money to play with Pokemon? Or even better, would you pay money to play with the Big Lebrowski? The bid starting only over 100k, baby. <laughs> anyway, I am the Big Lebrowski. Take care and I'm out.